Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn how to talk about fruit. We won't be learning the names of the fruit per se, but rather how to describe textures and flavors. You'll be surprised as to how useful this is in small talk, particularly with your Mandarin speaking aunties and uncles or in-laws. In the first part of the video, I'll share the cultural background around fruit eating and fruit giving. And then in the second part, we'll cover the language you need to carry out what I think is essential small talk. This video is brought to you by the Scritter app, your path to Chinese and Japanese mastery. Create your own decks or learn from Scritter's curated word lists, such as today's fruit deck. Good quality and tasty fruit is a great gift when visiting friends, family, and even clients. When you go to a fruit vendor, apart from the fruit that is kind of stacked up by items, so you know, apples, pears, whatever, you will actually sometimes find fancy combo boxes. Wow. Or say five really attractive apples for gift giving. This is definitely the case when you visit more high-end supermarkets where you get real fancy fruit. Fruit that is so fancy that you sometimes have to double check the price label. But if you are unsure what to get someone, particularly when visiting someone's home, fruit is a great choice. Cause come on, who doesn't like fruit? Preparing and offering fruit is also a great, albeit subtle way of showing affection. This is sometimes even considered a bit of a stereotype of Asian parents. Now, if you've been in an argument with your Asian parents or in-laws, and after a very long, painful period of silence, they offer you a plate of, say, chopped mangoes, you know you are definitely in the clear. Conversely, if you are looking to impress, say, your Mandarin-speaking in-laws, you will definitely get brownie points for preparing fruit for them. Iona often jokes about when we go home for Chinese New Year, there is a magical fruit plate that is just constantly being topped up by tons of delicious fruit. So it is so essential. I know it almost sounds like a silly topic, but it is so essential that you know how to talk about fruit to show your gratitude and love. Now that we've covered the culture part of today's video, let's first have a look at mock dialogue, then we're gonna look at some key vocab. 我要去切水果。你需要我帮忙做什么吗? 你帮我剥皮就好。要去籽吗? 要。我等等要来剖西瓜。Now let's look at the key words, or rather key verbs from today's dialogue. First up, to chop or to cut up fruit, that is 切水果. Now, I actually never noticed this uh, because you would both translate these verbs as to peel a fruit. But if you are peeling the skin off with your fingers, say like a mandarin, you would use the verb bo bo pi. And for certain things, let's say you need to use a peeler to take off the skin, say an apple, you would say xiao pi. So those are two different verbs for two different instructions. So make sure you learn those because when your family are asking you to prepare fruit, you'll be sure to do it the right way. Next, we also learn the noun for seeds or the seeds within the fruit, and that is zi, zi. Notice that this is a little different from the seed that you would plant in the ground, even though I know they're technically the same things, kind of. For the seed that you would plant in the ground, that would be zhong zi but the seed of a fruit is this zi. And for very large fruit items like xi gua, you would use pu, because I guess it's a much more vigorous action. Actually, you would tear the smaller parts of a watermelon. Say you've already cut it in a quarter or half and you're cutting it into smaller slices. That's when you would use tie, but when you're doing the initial hasa, you would use pu xi gua. Some families can actually be quite particular about how certain types of fruit are prepared. So maybe this type of fruit, they always remove the seed or that type of fruit, they always remove the peel. So this is actually a nice little talking point. You know, if you've seen uh, a plate that a beautifully prepared fruit, you can say, wow, Next, let's have a look at how to describe fruit outside of simply saying, now you can use these words to describe the flavor of the fruit. 酸, 甜, 苦, 色. 
Or if you're describing the texture, you can describe it as ran ying, sheng shou. Ran ying is more obvious in terms of how it's used. Sheng and shou can be used to describe its ripeness. In addition to ran ying, sheng shou, you can also use cui for something that's particularly crispy or lovely and fresh, and lan for something, yes, rotten, for something that's more ripe. But sometimes for certain fruits, this might actually be desired. And finally, to describe the aroma of the fruit, you can say, wow, 这个水果, or insert fruit item, 很香, or 很臭. And sometimes a stinky fruit, again, bizarrely might be desired. For example, in the case of durian, even though, actually, I think in durian's case, for people that love durian, you would describe it as 香 rather than 臭. What is your favorite fruit? And what is the craziest fruit-related gift you have ever received? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you found this video useful. 我们下次见, 再见。